Hi, Dale here with Open Road Outfitters. In this video, I'm going to show you how to pack up a timeout camper. Now, I can rarely put something back in its original package once I take it out, except for this camper. So here's how I go about it. The first thing I do is walk around the camper and undo all the snaps and bungee tie downs, except for the snaps at the four corners. Next, I step inside the camper and I lower all the poles. Well, actually, if I, if, if I haven't done so already, I zip up all the windows before I let the poles down. And then, I start at the bed area and I work my way backward so I can just step out. Now, it doesn't seem to matter whether I zip the door or not, so I just leave that open. Once the poles are lowered, then I walk around and undo the remaining snap at each corner. Next, I fold over the poles and start to put them down into their storage spot. And as I do that, I take the sides of the tent and lay them out across the trailer. Now the goal is to get these layers as flat and as neat as you can, because that's really the key to getting this thing packed up nice and tight. And as I do this, I look to make sure I'm not catching the tent material on any of the edges. Uh, you especially want to keep the screens away from the edges. Yeah, that, that looks pretty good. That's about as good as it's going to get. Nice and flat. So starting at the front of the camper, I'll pull the tent straight, and then I begin to roll it up. Now, I don't know if this makes a difference, but I like to turn in the corners just a little bit as I start to roll. It just seems to roll up a little tighter. I, I take my time and get this nice and tight. And when I start to see the underside of the roof, I know that I'm pretty much as far as I can go with it. Now, if I haven't already done so, I, I pull those tightening straps out so I can get to them easily later on. Next, I do the same thing with the bed portion of the tent. I'll roll this tight and get it as uh, tight and even as I can until I've reached the inside of the camper box. And once the two sides are rolled up, I'll start to put the straps in place and I kind of pull that front part of the tent up and so I can pull it over the back part. It's kind of hard to fit your hand between the tent poles and the camper box. That's, it's kind of tight back there. So the straps are easier to put in place if you pull them out to their fullest length. And make sure they don't have any twists. I also find it works best if I slip the female end of the buckle under the tent and bring it forward to meet the tag end. That gives me more leverage to pull the tag end tight once it's buckled. Once you're done pulling the straps and pushing down the canvas, it will look factory fresh. I also find this is a good spot to store all the poles. And then that leaves me more room to get packed up and go camping. Now, if you'd like more information about motorcycle campers or motorcycle hitches, stop by and see us at Open Road Outfitters. And feel free to email me with any questions you have. Till next time, this is Dale with Open Road Outfitters, wishing you many happy journeys.